A while back, there was talk of a Wonder Girl series and that uh, Gal Gadot could even appear in it. And the assumption was they were referring to a spinoff of the Titan series that began on the DC Universe streaming service and will now continue on HBO Max. So I thought, well, you know, I'll give that a shot. I did like the actress who played her. Uh, they unfortunately killed her off in a really dumb scene at the end of the last season. And uh, maybe she would get resurrected by the Amazons or whatever. Whatever it takes doesn't matter. Uh, that would be a show I'd uh, be look uh, would be uh, interested in to take give it a chance and uh, well, I guess uh, it's one of those things where you get rumors of a show, and it's only half true. <laughs> so here we are. So we we gotta you know check off a checklist. So, Wonder Girl in development at the CW, not uh, HBO Max. This will be the Brazilian Wonder Woman. Well, there is. There was an African Wonder Woman, and they called her Nubia, and she turned out to be a, a long-lost sister of Wonder Woman and all that. And uh, that's kind of decades old and stuff. Gee, I don't know why she doesn't get a show, but uh, this is a brand-new character who hasn't even debuted yet. She'll be a part of the... Uh, the future state crap that the on life support DC comics uh, is on. Cause uh, rumors abound that it's it, it, DC comics is done. Uh, they'll probably uh, publish either direct to digital or, or, or any of our graphic novel collections of those stories. And it'll mostly just be, you know, Superman, Batman and wonder woman uh, with, you know, the others being backup stories and that kind of thing, which is, Kind of something they might have should have tried a long time ago, but they could still be a publisher. But whatever, it's too late. So here we have from Matt McCloyne, who uh, really captures the excitement and enthusiasm for this. <laughs> sure to be a smash hit like Batwoman and Supergirl. In development at the CW is Wonder Girl which is a Brazilian version of Wonder Woman, who is also coming to the DC Comics. Wonder Girl centers on Yara Flor, a Latina dreamer who was born of an Amazonian warrior and a Brazilian river god, who learns that she is Wonder Girl. <laughs> With her newfound power, she must fight the evil forces that would seek to destroy the world. Wonder Girl is being developed by Queen of the South executive producer showrunner uh, Dalen Rodriguez and Greg Berlanti Productions. The show joins Batwoman, DC Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, the upcoming Superman and Lois, Supergirl. Yeah, Supergirl's coming back as she's got one more season to wrap up and all that. Black Lightning. Uh, as part of the DC shows on the CW, this will mark the first time that a Latina superhero headlines a DC TV series. <laughs> they do have Latina characters, but okay. So anyway, there's Joelle Jones picture of her. Uh, she hasn't been published yet, by the way, but she's already got a TV show because, you know, checklist. And uh, so there she is. And yeah, she's rather pretty in this one. Uh, but yeah, they couldn't come up with a new name. She couldn't be like, you don't know, Miracle Maid or something. <laughs> you know? Anyway, Wonder Girl is Wonder Woman. That's right. She'll be the new politically correct Wonder Woman for Future State, which is the lineup they'll have. So. She's already going to get a TV show as Wonder Girl, but I'm guessing they'll say in her past, kind of like The Flash is this woman, or not a woman, she doesn't have a gender, or they, them, pronouns, and so I don't know. <laughs> uh, so but that was Kid Flash or, or something like that, and then becomes the new Flash for this future state. For uh, two months of DC publishing, provided it's still publishing by the time these come out. Gee, I can't imagine what the problem was. So uh, she uh, replaces Wonder Woman in DC's future state, 
where a politically correct driven event where she joins forces with the new Superman, which will be Superman's son. Uh, they'll make him a full adult after Ben has uh, prematurely aged him because he's an idiot. Uh, so she'll be there to save the cities in a new super team up, the likes of which the world has never seen. <laughs> No, they they have some future state and mortal Wonder Woman one through two monthly miniseries and one shot monthly. Good lord! I mean, oh, maybe it's just for the two months. Uh, future state justice. League, so there she'll be, and there she is. Yay! And um, oh, maybe she will get Wonder Woman's outfit. I don't know. I don't know why she's wearing the bat belt, but and there she is with new Superman. And they're fighting the forces. Oh, they're fighting COVID. <laughs> uh, and, of course, New Justice League. That's right. Better than ever. And you've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah, there they are. There's Old Man Superman, who apparently is a gladiator in War World or something. And I guess that's supposed to be original Batman. He lost his cape. And then Luke, oh yeah, it, it doesn't matter. So there you go. It's great and wonderful, stunning and brave. And um, the crowd goes wild. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm too weak to scroll back up. <laughs> so I guess that other rumor about the actress uh, from Titans getting her own show, uh, it's not happening. So... But, but you'll get this character that no one knows from a two-month deal from a dying publisher. All right, there you go, Wonder Girl. All right, thank you for watching and listening. So why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores and have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody, goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com. <laughs>